Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives. With Skillshare, you can hone your skills, work on projects with the support of fellow creatives, and just generally move towards accomplishing your ultimate goals. Skillshare offers classes designed for real life, so you can learn and grow with short classes that fit your busy routine. It's also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. Not sure what to take? Well, consider checking out the staff recommendations. I'm personally interested in creating content that people love to read and Google loves to rank by Raylene Mori. It's all about SEO, search engine optimization, and basically how to get people to find the stuff that you write, which I think is really important for someone in my position. Skillshare is giving away two free months of premium membership to the first 500 people who click the link in the description box to help you explore your creativity. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. Very, very affordable. So thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Advanced Recon Commandos, or ARCs, were among the most elite and rare assets within the Republic's military. However, while everyone can agree that ARC troopers are badass, Legends and Canon present the class with a different backstory. In Legends, ARCs originally were created without certain genetic limitations that were present in other clones. The first generation, the Null ARCs, failed to live up to the standards of the Kaminoan cloners, while the second larger batch used the lessons learned of the Null troopers and was far more successful, with 100 battle-ready ARCs trained by Jango Fett and frozen on Kamino, only to be used in emergency. These 100 troopers known as Alpha Class would go on to teach the second and perhaps subsequent generation of ARCs who were not modified in the same way, but still gained some degree of independence and critical thinking not really present in other troopers through training. In Legends, Rex was one of the clones included in this class, and we'll come back to Rex in a minute because there's a lot to talk about with him. Later, as we see in the Clone Wars, other troopers would be elevated to the position of Ark, largely due to impressive individual feats, and would most likely be given some additional training, then taking on the additional duties and responsibilities of an Ark trooper. That's Legends. We know far less in canon, basically only what we learn in the Clone Wars TV show. For one, that Arcs were elite clone troopers and could be selected after exceptional acts of bravery and skill, as was the case with Five and Echoes. I know this next bit will draw some comments and I'm totally willing to do a dedicated video on it if you're interested, but canon sources also list Captain Rex as an Arc trooper. And to me that always made sense. He often essentially had control of the 501st, he wears Arc-like armor, and he's one of the most skilled and accomplished clones that we see. Now there is some contradictory information in the Clone Wars, I can address that if I do a full video on it, but it's my guess that a clone can receive ARC Trooper training, then go on to a command role, like Rex did, or instead serve as an ARC Trooper within a specific legion, like Fives and Echo. Anyway, that's an unnecessary bit of detail, so I'm gonna move on for now. But all of this background information is important because it helps us to understand the different types of ARC Trooper armor, given what we know about how Legends and Canon interact, how the Clone Wars TV show often contradicted, prior aspects of Legends, and more. So keeping that in mind, let's try to develop a timeline or category of ARC Trooper armor that will cohesively bring, bring together all aspects of continuity. And first off, we have what I'll call, pretty simply, Phase 1 ARC Trooper armor. Now, we're actually introduced to ARC Troopers in this armor, specifically in issue 50 of the Republic comic series, where the in-stasis clones on Kamino, which I mentioned earlier, are awoken to help defend the planet from a CIS invasion. The ARCs here essentially are wearing Phase 1 clone armor, albeit with additional pauldrons, pockets, advanced rangefinder technology, and more. The clone we spend the most time with is named Alpha-17, and apparently he was originally supposed to take the role of Rex in the Clone Wars TV show, but because of an overabundance of A names, a new character was created. So yeah, essentially we have Phase 1 armor with extra things on it, and it's very possible that this armor was actually more advanced, perhaps it was more lightweight or made out of better materials or something, but unfortunately, there's not really enough information to make any sort of meaningful assumptions. Arcs were portrayed the exact same way in the early episodes of the 2003 Clone Wars series. Fordo and other arcs essentially wear Phase 1 armor with pauldrons, the Mandalorian comma skirt, extra pouches, forearm communication devices, and a few smaller accessories. These clones also had secondary armor coloring based on their rank. That, however, is just Legends. Canon, however, has also 
also introduced Phase 1 arcs, although only explicitly in the multiplayer content for Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now in that game, although the specific battles aren't necessarily canon, everything within is, so Phase 1 arc troopers are canon in the new continuity as well. And while that is the only explicit inclusion of Phase 1 arcs, assuming that some clones like Rex did receive arc training, there is certainly some evidence that they might have just worn the same armor as their fellow soldiers, albeit perhaps somewhat more advanced, modifiable, or effective. That being said, at some point, arc troopers started to prototype the next generation of clone armor, and we can see this in the Clone Wars TV show. Arc troopers as an elite fighting force served as a test bed for Phase 2 clone armor. I covered this yesterday briefly, but Phase 2 clone armor had various upgrades over Phase 1. Notably, it had a visually distinctive helmet with the smaller antenna and a visor that was more similar to Stormtroopers. Phase 2 armor was also more modifiable than Phase 1 and was often completely customized for specific mission profiles, so much so that it didn't even look like the base armor design. Anyway, the Clone Wars TV show shows us that ARC Troopers were given prototype versions of Phase 2 armor before the rollout to the general military. This is clear, for example, in the episode Clone Cadets, which was chronologically only the third episode of the series. In the episode ARC Troopers, we also see ARCs fighting alongside regular clones, and they've got the new armor when the other troops do not. Looking at what I've called Phase 1.5 armor, we can see essentially they have what could be either a Phase 1 or a Phase 2 body armor. I'm not really sure if there are any notable details, but they have a helmet that's a mix of the two. It has the visor and mouth of the newer Phase 2 design, but with the antenna of Phase 1, which is an interesting combination that I actually quite like. However, at some point after Phase 2 was adopted by clones throughout the military, it seems like Arcs 2 got an upgrade to the basic armor. Fives, for example, in the Umbaran arc, and he looks really cool in that arc by the way, has just a normal Phase 2 helmet, and we actually see the exact same thing happen to Alpha in Star Wars Legends. Similarly, in the original Clone Wars TV show, by the Battle of Coruscant, Fordo has a different helmet. It's quite similar to a Phase 2 design, but is somewhat visually distinctive, it lacks the middle portion of of the visor, and that leads me to my final point. Sometimes, just like regular clone troopers, arcs would have been given specialized equipment. This video mostly deals with how the general armor evolved throughout the Clone Wars, so just keep in mind that there might be differences. Now, I'd love to show you guys some footage from the 2003 Clone Wars series, however, for some reason, every time I do, my channel immediately gets a copyright takedown notice, even if it's just 5 seconds. However, you can find most of the footage on YouTube, so I recommend looking that up. Again, you can also check out the Republic comic series, and of course, the Clone Wars TV show. Although during my rewatch, I actually noticed that there's a lot less ARC Trooper content than I remembered, so your mileage may vary. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, let me know what Clone Wars content you'd like to see next on the channel, and what do you think about Captain Rex being an ARC Trooper? Again, my opinion is that he probably received full or at least partial ARC Trooper training, but also received leadership training, so instead of serving as a proper ARC, he maintained his captain role and led the 501st, but that's just my opinion. Anyway guys, that's all I have for now. Until next time, have a great one, and may the Force be with you.